It's the Luscious Vlogcast. We've got a skincare haul today. Yeah. Slow mo. Welcome back beauties. Today I am going to be going through all of these products that I purchased from W7 Makeup. If you don't know what W7 Makeup is, if you go directly to their website, you'll see that they have nail products, they have foundations, lots of eye makeup, eye palettes, lipsticks, and all of that sort. But they also recently started selling skincare products. Now I found out about them just by watching another YouTube video and they were speaking about makeup products and that's how I ended up coming to the website. They certainly have quite a lot of stuff going on, but recently they've been advertising a lot about their stay at home self-care pack, which is what I purchased. And that's the products that I am going to be sharing with you in today's video from W7 Makeup. Now this is their UK website. I do believe they have a US website as well. And the reason I'm going to be reviewing this is because it's only 20 pounds and it comes with, I think, five products in this self-care pack, which is the watermelon moisturizer, blueberry cleansing gel, a green tea face toner, a serum, and a lip mask. And based on the very limited amount of reviews that are on the website, I thought I better create a video and share my own initial review of these skincare products. So if that is of interest to you, stay tuned. This peach cleansing balm is not included in the self-care pack, but I still purchased this along with other, I think two or three products. I like cleansing balms because they're good for removing makeup as well as for double cleansing. This reminds me of a similar product from Tony Moly, which is the Tony Moly Peach Sherbet Cleansing Balm. And I look at the ingredients and they have very similar ingredients. So if you're looking for a cheap alternative, then this definitely would be one. Um, as I look at this, it reminds me of the consistency of coconut oil, but it actually doesn't have any coconut oil in it. Um, there's a light scent to it. And when I apply this to my skin, it goes on really smoothly. I don't have to work it in. It feels amazing after I use this. So I definitely like using this cleansing balm. Next up is the Blueberry Burst Cleansing Gel that has oat, blueberry, and cactus extract. When I think of a blueberry cleanser, I also think of the Bounce Cleanser by Glow Recipe, which I also happen to have. But the key ingredient in this is definitely cactus extract, and that's going to help keep your face hydrated and nourished. It's also good at brightening the skin and stimulating the production of collagen to help reduce the signs of aging. So I really like using this cleanser, and there's a very nice sweet scent to it. Next up is the green tea time with green tea cactus and oat extract. Again, cactus and oat extract in this one as well. I think of Innisfree when it comes to a green tea toner. Um, and they do both have great extracts in them. Particularly green tea is very good at stimulating microcirculations, helping to even the tone of the skin and the health of the skin as well. And it's also gonna help combat the breakdown of collagen in your skin. But the texture of this is quite sudgy for a toner. Like I'm so used to toners being just that alcoholic thin thing. But so far I really like this toner and I don't have any complaints. My skin feels amazing. Next up is the Moisture Quench Serum that has hyaluronic acid, jojoba, and fruit complex. I don't actually have a product that I can compare this to, but what I can say is I do love the ingredients. Jojoba is good at softening and protecting the skin, it doesn't clog the pores, and it has moisture retaining properties. So I mainly use this product in the nighttime after I've done my skin, and when I make up in the morning, I feel like my skin is really soft, and it feels supple. There's a light scent to it. If you do have a sensitivity to fragrance, maybe these products are not for you, but I don't have any issues with the product so far. Next serum that I have is the Essential Essence Serum and it has hyaluronic acid, collagen, and bromelain pineapple enzyme. I actually don't think I have a product that I could compare this to, but initially I did think about the pineapple um, serum by Glow Recipe. Now, bromelain is a digestive enzyme that we can actually eat directly from pineapples and it's gonna help break down. It's the same thing on the skin. So the bromelain enzyme is going to break down the dead skin proteins, such as the broken down collagen. It's gonna help exfoliate, rebuild collagen, and reveal a younger and more even layer of skin. 
The consistency of this is the same of regular serums. It's very thin, absorbs very easily, and I particularly like to use this in my daily skincare routine. The last serum from W7 is the Skin So Bright Serum that has Arbutin, Hyaluronic Acid, and Collagen. All of the serums have Hyaluronic Acid, the Essential Essence, and this one has the Collagen, but this one specifically has Arbutin. Now Arbutin is great especially if you have like an uneven complexion, which I currently have, and I am now seeing an improvement. It can prevent dark spots or even help fade them, leading to a more even complexion. Again, this has the same consistency for all of the serums, it absorbs very quickly, and it has a very light scent to it so far, and I'm enjoying these. Next up is the Watermelon Wave Hydro Glow Moisturizer, and it has hyaluronic acid, watermelon extract as well as vitamin E. Watermelon is a powerful antioxidant and it has loads of beneficial vitamins that's going to help to heal and repair your skin. Now watermelon extract is definitely going to help you in regards to preventing your skin from sagging as well as hyperpigmentation and the consistency of this moisturizer. It is not very thick, it has the perfect texture, it absorbs very easily and there's a light scent to it as well. Next, I have the Dew Over with Hyaluronic Acid, Watermelon, and Fruit Complex Refreshing Watermelon Hydro Mist. I did think of the Watermelon Mist by Glow Recipe when I saw this, and they both both have, you know, fruit extracts as well as beneficial um, carrier oils in this. I love this Dew. It really smells nice, goes onto the skin very easily, and I feel like my skin is actually refreshed when I use this. This is the Strawberry Overnight Lip Mask, and this is the last product that I purchased from W7 Makeup. Uh, this is called the Sweet Dreams with Vitamin E, Aloe Vera, and Grapeseed Oil. And the ingredients so far, they look really good. When I think of a overnight lip mask, especially if it's pink, I think of the Laneige Lip Mask, which I also happen to have. The consistency of this lip mask is completely different than the one from Laneige. Laneige is very much more sticky and this one I feel like it's more of a balm almost it feels it feels much more smoother almost like icing but vitamin E is definitely good for helping to soothe and protect the skin aloe vera is definitely good at helping to heal the skin especially if you have cracked lips I feel like this did a good job at making sure that my skin on my lips sorry were, were very moist and very smooth. So, so far I like this, but I don't think this is a replacement for the Laneige lip mask. Okay, and these are all the products that I purchased. The only skincare product that I did not purchase was the Micella Cleansing Water. I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen so you know exactly what that is. Initially when I saw this Micella Water, I thought that I would be using this for cleansing my skin, but this can actually be used for removing your eye makeup. So specifically, I would still purchase this for removing my eye makeup since I have the cleansing balm and I already have the cleansing gel. I also wanted to touch base to let you know exactly what which products came in my stay-at-home self-care pack. This Blueberry Burst Cleansing Gel came in the stay-at-home self-care pack. The Skins Are Bright with Arbutin Hyaluronic Acid and Collagen Serum also came with this pack. If you were to purchase these separately, you'd probably pay around $6.95 and $5.95 for these. This also comes with the Green Tea Time with Green Tea Cactus and Oat Extract Toner. It comes with the Watermelon Wave Facial Moisturizer. And then lastly, it also comes with the Overnight Lip Mask. And for £20, you're probably just paying £4 each for the five products that comes in the stay at home self care pack and I think that's a great deal for you just to start off with. Now if you also want to do what I did and purchase additional product, the Peachy Clean Makeup Remover and Cleansing Balm is only five pounds and 95 cents. The Dew Over Hydrating Face Mist is five pounds and 95 cents. And I think this is a great touch for after you've done your whole routine, you just want to get that extra dew. And then the two extra serums, the Moisture Quench Face Serum is $6.95 and the Essential Face Serum is also $6.95. And I think having these two other extra serums are going to give your skin the extra love and attention it definitely needs. But again, these are all optional purchases.
I would definitely like to see an eye product as well as maybe a face scrub or a face mask from W7 to complement these existing products. But I, so far, I'm enjoying these. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video.